Road. The father of the uh, latest victim. Well, with me in the studio is Arif Rahman, a secular Bangladeshi blogger who's based here in Britain, uh, and from Dhaka by uh, Mahruf Mohuldin, uh, who's director of the academic publisher University Press. Thank you both for joining us on the programme. Arif, if I can start with you. Five deaths, I think, of uh, bloggers uh, or people involved in this this year alone. Are the police, is the government doing enough to crack down on this? Um, no, I don't think they are. They, although they seem to be uh, active, but the results are uh, in front of us. We have five deaths this year alone, but this killing started two years ago, and even the first killing, no justice, no prosecution has taken place. So, so what are the police doing when it comes to investigating who's behind? Because it's not just an individual killer here. We're talking about mobs, aren't we, of people? Um, they're like assassin groups. Um, but Bangladesh government, um, the, the uh, law and order bodies, I don't think they're, they're incapable. They are more capable, but I don't think they are actually doing their job properly in this case. And they can easily track these people down, and they are not being doing that. And that, that's why uh, they are also government, when it comes to uh, you, you know, protecting the bloggers or the authors or the publishers, government actually doesn't do that. They, on the other hand, they say, do not cross the line. That gives a legitimacy to the killers and give them free reign in a way. Uh, Mahra, do, do you ag agree with that? Because the, the penalties for defamatory uh, publications can be several years in prison as well. Uh, is that part of the problem here? Do you think there, there are mixed messages being given out? Um, yes, I, I think I fully agree with uh, the blogger and, um, I, you know, that, that the government has the capability of, of stepping in and, uh, and, and we've been, you know, experiencing a lack of free speech, uh, space for free speech uh, over the last few years and, and you've been, um, you know, covering news from, from Dhaka and, and things have only escalated and, and you know, we don't see... Uh, we don't see that you know things will things are getting any better, and uh, I guess you know citizens are feeling devalued and you know uh, and and uh, discounted in the process. Um, although the government is saying that they're doing uh, you know what is needed to be done in terms of uh, ensuring security, uh, we don't necessarily feel that you know enough is being done. How intimidating, how frightening, is it for somebody like you in your position? Well, um, of course, this recent incident has uh, hit closer to home. But uh, you know, like I said, that you know, we have been feeling that that free speech, uh, the progressive spaces, are reducing. There is there is lack of space for uh, voice of dissent, uh, and it's it's also from you know we see increasing intolerance uh, from both sides. So it's not just from the extremists. Uh, we we really feel that. Uh, even from the government side or, or the ruling party side, if there was a little bit more uh, space available for people to, you know, have space for critical thinking, uh, for progressive, um, you know, discussions, uh, informed discussions, there would be uh, a way to find out what's the solution, what's the way forward. But uh, we, we, you know, constantly feel that the, that space is reducing and it's, it's really not helping the situation in any way. Uh, Arif, I mean, Bangladesh is nominally a secular country, isn't it, but with a Muslim population of 90%. Yeah. Do you think that the government needs to do more to reinforce that sort of secular foundation to the state? Well, the definition of secularism, in your view, is completely different in Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, Bangladesh government looks at the proportion of uh, religious uh, population and somehow uses that to pamper a specific religion. That is their definition of secularism. Um, it's not that state will not be getting involved with any kind of religious matters. It, it does. It actually subsidizes a lot of religious bodies. And that gives them this power. And also in return, they get um, the support from the religious mob. Uh, we have seen multiple times in political activities. So religion and politics is getting into a very, very nasty collusion. Has it changed the way you blog? We. We have been more secure now, as in more, more uh, careful, but what we wanted to say, we continue to say and we will continue to say, because there is no going back, because 
they are pushing ahead and with the help of government and that's all we can do in our uh, capacity is to is to is to fight back using our our writings and that's all we have left uh, uh, Maverick, will it change the way you do business the, the 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 people you take on the sort of pamphlets the sort of blogs and things that you decide to publish um, well, I, I would, I guess, I would speak for um, you know publishers in general, and I think you know, of course, there is a reducing space for uh, uh, publishers who, who publish progressive writers, and uh, and we know that you know it's 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 becoming increasingly difficult for them because even today uh, we heard that one of the publishers, one of our fellow publishers, received a threat message saying that uh, you've published a lot of. Uh, message uh, writings by eight atheist writers and you've sinned and therefore be prepared to die so if if this is happening then of course it's a it's a matter of concern for publishers in terms of what they choose to publish and uh, definitely you know that 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 is a, a you know goes without saying that it's a matter of concern for anybody who wishes to publish progressive writing all right and just a final question from you arif is there anyone showing any political leadership on this at the moment actually intervening uh, and appealing for these things publicly to stop um not within bangladesh because bangladesh has this political uh, i should say gridlock where you have to speak without without uh, hurting religious sentiment but the religious religious bodies are progressing in such a way that it's, it's crossed over to our secular space a long, long time ago. And when we fight back, they uh, retaliate using killing us. So uh, that's what's happening at the moment. I mean, there is nobody who, with the right mind in the political correctness, will say anything that can... Uh, you know, jeopardize that state of mind of right. the politicals. Okay, well, uh, Arif Rahman and uh, uh, Maharuk Mahoudin, thank you both uh, very much indeed for joining us here on uh, Global. Now, for uh, millions of years, human beings have navigated their way to all 